Now, it was first used by a Jewish community centuries ago and centuries on. A Torah scroll, the faith's most important religious text, is back at the heart of worship. It follows the re-emergence of Jewish services in Cornwall. The document was brought out of a museum and given to the Cornish community, as Jane Chandler reports. A tiny passage from the Torah scroll. Handwritten in Hebrew, the parchment is so delicate it can't be touched. This metal yad points the way. The scroll founded in the days of the Stuarts is unique in its historical and spiritual value. And for Kehilat Kerno, it's come back to life. It's going to be used in a living, vibrant Jewish community 350 years after it was first used in a Jewish community. It is absolutely unique. It's never happened before. I recognize. Is it on a fruit? The scroll was returned to Kehilat Kerno by the Duke of Gloucester on behalf of the Royal Cornwall Museum. It's the first scroll ever to be given back by a museum to a Jewish community. The sound of Spanish pipes heralds a procession through Truro for a rededication service. There are about a hundred members of the Jewish community of Cornwall. For many, this was their first chance to see the scroll. The BBC was shown the extent of damage picked up over the course of three centuries. Look at this, here's a strip where he stuck a strip of parchment. Oh, that's right, yes. Yeah on the back of it. But a scroll that outlived its useful life in the days of Queen Victoria is now kosher, fit for Cornwall's Jewish community to use again. It was given to us on Mount Sinai and uh, it's our covenant with our God. Scrolls like this are stored in an ark but Kehilat Kerno promised their own Torah will be used as often as befits a holy object. Jane Chandler, BBC Spotlight.